Hi, thank you for joining me for the Avaya Workspaces Layout Manager. My name is Shelly Shaffrey and I'm with the Avaya Professional Services Department. Today we're going to go over the Workspaces Layout Manager. This is a new feature for Oceana Workspaces 3.7. In the past, if you wanted to have different layouts for different users or supervisors, you would have to do a customization usually based off of an LDAP configuration or some other setting that would identify which layout to put in for which agent. This is now an out of the box feature. So we can create as many layouts as we need to and we can assign them using groups. So this administration is done through the Avaya Aura Control Manager and through the Avaya Workspaces Layout Manager. So these are two new items that we're going to look at today. Now this can include widgets, screen pops, out-of-the-box applications. There's a lot of different changes you can do. We are not going to go over customizing the actual layout. That would be a more in-depth training that you would take. But for this, I just want to show you how you can create those layouts. Okay, so we're going to start in the Avaya Control Manager and we're going to be working in the group. So the path for this is home and then group. First thing you want to do is select the correct locations. This is the location that your workspaces environment is already configured in. For us, it's the CM6 and then you're going to click this little add button up here. This is going to give you a new group. You're going to want to make sure you pick that it is a user type. You'll give it a group name. And we're going to make sure we pick Oceana and Workspaces Layout. Very important. If you pick other options here, it's not going to show up in the Workspaces Layout Manager. The next thing we do is go to the Entity Assignment. And we're going to pick the agents that this applies to. So we have our agent list here. We would pick whatever agents we want to be part of this layout. We want them to see this version. We would click them and the over arrow and then save. Okay. Next. Now we have completed the group in Control Manager. Now we need to log into the Workspaces Layout Manager. Now to do this, you would need a Workspaces Admin account. That's a permission settings for your user. It's in Control Manager on the Permissions tab. There's an Agent, Supervisor, or Administrator. You must make sure you are not logged in currently when you change. So if I am currently a supervisor and I need to change to an administrator, I need to be logged out of workspaces before I make that change. Also important, when you switch to an admin, it will erase your supervisor or agent configuration. So you'll have to put back in your attributes and what groups you're assigned to, that information will have to be reconfigured. It does give you a little warning when you make the change, but just so you're aware. So once we've made ourselves an admin and we're ready to go, we would log into Workspaces the same way we do as a supervisor or an agent. It's the exact same URL, but you'll get this view instead. And this is the widget development. This is where you do any changes that you want to the layout. So first we're going to do select layout. It's this button right here. You're going to see the default layout. Now, anyone who is not assigned to a group or any group that isn't currently assigned to a layout will go to that default group. Now, you can make a copy, you can clone, you can edit the default, you cannot delete it. It does have to exist, but you can edit it as you need to. So for us, you have an option to either create a new layout or to clone. We're going to clone. So we're going to click that little button here and you'll get a little pop up that says clone layout and to give your layout a name. Okay, So we're just going to call ours test layout and then click save. Now we have our test layout here. The only real difference is we can delete this layout. Okay, we can't delete the default, but you can delete the test. Now we're ready to edit our layout. So we would hit the edit button. The first, you want to go to Layout Configuration, and you want to look at the unassigned agent groups. Here's our test workspaces layout group. So we would highlight it. We would click the over arrow to make it our assigned layout, and it will show up on this side of the screen. Now at this point, we've now assigned this 
layout to this group. So anyone who logs in after we click save is going to get this layout. Now to change the layout, we would hit the customize layout button and make whatever changes we need. Add a widget, remove something, change where current layout is, change how many widgets are displayed in a single dashboard. So this is be the, any customization you needed to do here. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or feedback, you can contact us by any of the methods you see here. Thanks for watching.